welcome back to the pen and ink well. Right, I'm going to look at to say something very different that I haven't looked at before. Well, I have looked at before, as in it's not hugely different, I apologise for that. Except for what is different is I haven't looked at this brand and this is a collaboration. I am very fortunate to be given a lot of support by very many um, retailers and manufacturers for which I'm eternally grateful. I couldn't do this without them. My funds do not stretch to be in, to enable me to purchase hundreds and hundreds of pens. It tends to happen by consequence that I tend to end up purchasing pens, but I can't buy endless fountain pens to review so that you guys have a look at the you know have a look at the different ones. However, I am fortunate enough to be supported by various people, and one of those people is Cult Pens, cultpens.co.uk, and they have done a few collaborations with a couple of different manufacturers one of which is diamine where they've brought out their own inks their own range of inks what they call the deep dark range and i've featured those inks some of those inks before and i'll do a you know a more in-depth video actually that's just sort of come to my mind i'll do a more in-depth video on the five or six that they currently offer um another one that they started a little while ago is with caveco and you will have noticed that I have, I already have a good relationship with the team at Caveco in Nuremberg and was very fortunate to go out in October to visit them. Um, I have a video to put together of that. I still have all those short videos that I need to put together and edit together of my experience there. So I hope to get that out over the Christmas period. Now I've got a little more time now I'm off work for a couple of weeks. However, Carl Pens have started collaborating with Caveco a little while ago and they wanted to bring out their own mini fountain pen. If you head over to Carl Pen's website, you'll have a, you'll notice that when they were looking at making the Carl Pens, there was a few things, specifics they wanted to be able to do. They wanted a small to make a small pen that could fit in a pocket that you could literally take anywhere that you want. Um, that is of high quality, has a good writing nib, and it, you know, and that was sort of, they do like their mini pens and Caveco are known for their mini pens. If you think of Caveco, you think of their sport range, their small um, range. They wanted a slim pen, a very lightweight pen. And this is the second of those that I've seen. I didn't have a look at the first one. And they, so there is one available in black. This one now has just come out come out in a sort of brushed aluminium and it's a beautiful finish to this pen and okay I've been very again I've said this word so many times already just today very fortunate or shall I say lucky to have been sent this to have a look at as have my colleagues at United Inked um, dot, um, dot UK as well and we're going to be looking at this as part of a, a meta review that will have all of our opinions on that so you know you get a rounded view of this pen so it is tiny. It is absolutely tiny. Um, I've looked at the Lilliput um, that Caveco make as well, and this is that sort of size. But it's got a it's got a more classic look and more classic feel to it. The first thing that I think of is that you know it would be handy to put into a file of facts and that sort of planner system. The other sort of addiction that I have that I sort of wave in and out of actually is with things like planners and file of faxes. I had lots of file of faxes for a while but the one thing that really bothered me was not being able to find a fountain pen that would fit in the little pen loop that comes on the file of fax. Um, this would and what's great about this pen as well is that it comes in eight different width of nibs which is really sort of rare for a small mini fountain pen to have that choice. Steel nibs, and this is what we're looking at here. So, cute little box, absolutely cute little box. And, see, I told you, absolutely tiny. I'm gonna turn the camera around. One day I'd like to try and experiment with being able to do a full review sort of looking this way, but difficult I think at the moment but that's how tiny we're looking it's not even the length of my you know it's just about the palm of my hand here it's tiny but very classic looking 
So I'm going to turn it around, we'll have a look in more detail, see what you think, and I'll let you know what I think. But quite a cute little, certainly cute, and certainly it would go anywhere. But thank you very much, I'll turn you around, I'll speak to you in just two secs. Welcome back. So we're looking now at the Cult Pens Mini Fountain Pen. This is the colour, they call this Space Grey. So this is how this arrives, in this really pretty, simple, reminds me a bit of the Tusby um, boxes that have come out with the, you know, with the Eco in it. So simple, but certainly does the job. And this is how it looks in this box. Do you know, it's quite a handy box. You can use that for a few bit of things, and a few different things, and it clips really nicely as well. But I'm going to put that away. We're not here to look at the box. Right. I said this was a small pen. It is a small pen. Right. So there we are. Let me put that down while I give you some measurements. So weight-wise, this is 19 grams. It is a lightweight pen, and it is 12 grams without the cap on. Measurements wise, it's 111 millimeters long. You know, it's about 11, well, it is just over 11 centimeters. It is 94 millimeters without the cap and it's 125 millimeters when it's posted. Width wise, it's 9 millimeters wide, so it's narrow, it is it's a very slim pen, and it is 8 millimeters at the grip section so it doesn't narrow down sort of an awful lot because it's already tiny you can't you know it can't afford to narrow down much more so let's have a look at it from here so what i've been most impressed about this pen is how well it's built the build quality of this pen is lovely i really like it it has this brushed what they call brushed aluminium finish to it and it has all these sort of um it has these brush marks through it, which I really, really like, and it contrasts really well with the chrome fittings on here. So it's a flat top, it's a flat bottom, it does taper in sort of slightly here, as you can see, and it has that chrome band around the middle. And the clip, a very well made clip, it is strong, it's not going to break, and it complements it well. It sort of keeps that simplicity. And this would work so well for a man or a woman, whether it's in your purse, whether it's in your wallet, whether it's in your pocket, whether it's in a sort of, you know, a little file effects or a diary or a planner that you just sort of carry around day to day. The other thing that I find really sort of, a, it's a twist pen, which when you get to the sort of lower end, you don't, they don't always tend to be twists, but it is. So here we are. Without that cap, it is, as I say, very, very tiny. Let me go in a little closer here. As you can see, sorry, let me get that focused. You can see this is a Caveco nib. Standard Caveco nibs, that, steel nibs that you find in all of their pens. It is a collaboration with Caveco, as I mentioned, and this is a fine nib. So it, same as if you've tried their sport range, you're going to have exactly the same experience, the, the same nibs. And they twist out and they sort of change but this is available with eight different width options from an extra fine up to a broad and then there's a range of italics from 1.1 or 1.5 i think it goes up to about a 2.3 or 2.2 it's it's quite a big variety some of my colleagues have got the other italic um versions of these pens and they're reviewing that when the meta review comes out you'll be able to see that from there so the pen posts and i think you'd have to post the pen you know it the pen posts and again say it's only 125 millimeters long and it has this so if you can if the camera will pick that up it flares out ever so slightly here where the just where the threads are here where the cap meets and then you have these sort of what you sort of call them, these sort of slightly indented lines around the grip section here. And I think what that I really like about that is it really helps with sort of your fingers not slipping because sometimes when you've got sort of chrome fitting grip sections, your fingers can sweat or can get a bit of moisture on them and they tend to they tend to slip, but that stops that. So despite it being a small so, so this is how small we're talking. Again, 
apologies I had to make an apology earlier on in another video I made my nails are not looking great and they are far too long now um it's past the time that they needed to be done and I haven't had the opportunity to do it there I'm going tomorrow and they will be far more sensible by the end of tomorrow but for right now unfortunately this is it so the nail my nails get in the way but it wouldn't with anybody that's got practical nails unlike me it sits in the hand well for a small pen it does sit in the hand and it's really well balanced and I, I really like that it, it's it is very well made I can't write with it for a long time it is very small and my hand does start to ache but do you know what? It wasn't designed for that. It wasn't designed for long periods of writing. It was designed for convenience. It was designed to pop in your bag, to stick in your pocket. And I think even if it got knocked about a bit, I don't think it would make a difference to the finish of this. If anything, it would probably just add to it, you know, and make it look quite, you know, quite a very well loved pen. I just noticed on the back as well, say, it, you know, it is lasered in here, Cult Pens by Caveco just there. Cult pens by Caveco, you can see lasered in at the top there. I'm going to do a writing sample with it. Um, I don't think there's anything else to sort of say about it really. I do like it. It's very handy to say to have in your pocket, to have in your handbag, but not for very long periods of writing. It is very small for that, you know, for that purpose I would sort of find it's it's not the length of it it's it's the how narrow it is it's how slim the pen is but for that you get advantages in other areas so i'm going to just do a quick writing sample now and let me know what you think so here we have roger dot pad always used for my writing samples i will get ready to look at a writing sample here so this is the cult pens mini fountain pen and this is by Caveco. This has a Caveco blue cartridge fitted in it. Well, I didn't mention that actually. It uses standard small international cartridges, so you have a wide variety of ink options available to you as far as cartridges are concerned, or you can just refill them. I use syringes sometimes just to refill cartridges if I want to use some of my bottled inks um, that I have, so I've got a bit more, op a few more options as well. This is a fine nib. And it is beautifully smooth. The nib is really, really nice. I'm going to show you that width of line there. Standard Western fine nib, I would say, exactly the same as the Caveco. So if you're used to Lamy, you're used to Caveco, you're used to Pelican, um, maybe Faber-Castell, Faber you're going to get the same sort of width nib on that. There's a little bit of give in the nib, as you can see. So you can get a bit of line variation out of it. A little bit of shading out of that ink at the same time. There have been a couple of hard starts on an upstroke or a downstroke initially, but once it's going, there are no issues at all. It's very consistent ink flow. I don't think there's any more to say about it really. It doesn't gush, it's not dry, it lays down a nice amount of ink. Yeah, so what's that, sort of four, five, six seconds? You know, so it's it's good. I, you know, I do like it. So this is the Cult Pens Mini fountain pen, and this is Space Grey. It is available in black as well. Retails at 29 95 on Cult Pens' website, only available through them, obviously, as it's their, their pen. If you'd like to head over, please do head over and have a look. It's really useful for presents for Christmas, I, you know, I sort of think, or a gift to somebody if they're starting out because it's sort of handy in that way. Um, any questions, please let me know. Please subscribe to my channel, like the video, leave me a comment. 
let me know what you think or anything else you'd like me to have a look at I'd be more than happy to do so otherwise thank you very much for watching and I'll speak to you all and see you all again soon bye